Were we too harsh on Forza Horizon 4? Is it actually a better game than we all thought it was? Well, why don't we just sit here for a little bit and rant about it? How's it going, everybody? My name is Golden there's Steven, and let's talk about Forza Horizon 4, and was it actually a bad game? We make the streams louder. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your favorite machine, we're going or Steven here, and welcome to today's videos. Today, yes, we're going to just be sitting here, we're going to be ranting, you've probably seen some gameplay that I've recorded along with probably the trailer of the game, but yes, today I want to just, just sit here, just relax, hang out, and honestly talk about my thoughts on Forza Horizon 4. So, Forza Horizon 4, if you all know, is very, it's a little lower on my list of the favorite Forza Horizon games. It is still in my top 100 favorite games of all time. All five of them are. But when I did my ranking of which one was the best, I believe I put it at the very, very bottom of the list. I believe I did say it was probably my least favorite Forza Horizon game. And now that I kind of go back and I kind of sit there and I kind of play a little bit more, I'm starting to think I was a little too harsh on the game. Fix my hoodie here. I'm starting to think maybe I was a bit too harsh on the game at launch. Because along with a lot of other people with the way Forza Horizon 5 has been, a lot of us have actually gone back to play Forza Horizon 4 and we're starting to realize it's actually a lot better than we first gave it credit for. It is not the worst game ever and we thought it was, we gave it crap, we were not huge fans of it. But now we're kind of realizing it was probably one of the better ones. Not saying Horizon 5 is a bad game by any stretch of the means. We, th you know, I still think Forza Horizon 5 is a top tier game. I still do hop into it every once in a while to kind of play it around, mess around with it. But I don't put as much time into it as I did with Horizon 4, Horizon 3, Horizon 2. Heck, I've gone back to play all the other Horizon games before I even really gone back to 5. And honestly, I think the biggest thing is 5 gave us mostly what we wanted... Aside from a progression standpoint. What I mean by that is like, at the beginning of the game you got three cars to choose from and you were just given all three of those cars. And if you were me and you've played all the previous Forza games, you literally got the starting car for all of the games. So already, right off of the bat, I already had so much of the cars. <clears throat> Sorry, let me rephrase that. Already off the bat... I already had, like, some of the fastest cars in the game. Like, the McLaren Senna and the Lamborghini Centenario, the Lamborghini Huracan. Like, I already had these cars right off the start of the game. There was a few things that Horizon 5 has done very well, though, like the 10-year anniversary. A lot of people are disappointed by it. I, for one, was not. I liked it. I loved it. I thought it was pretty cool. But... Horizon 4 had a little bit more of a progression thing and honestly had a little bit nicer of an explorable area. So many more things that Horizon 4 had that Horizon 5 didn't. Um, I mean, there's more like cars and stuff like that, but also the expansions. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I haven't played a lot of it. I'm not the biggest fan of the Hot Wheels expansion at the moment for Horizon 5. I loved Horizon 4's expansions. Fortune Island was really cool. The Lego one was amazing. It was just phenomenal, fantastic. And that one, like, honestly, they were pretty good expansions. Even down to kind of like the car thing. So, I literally had this the other day. I logged into Forza Horizon 5. I had $200,000 in the game. I got my VIP wheel spins. They gave me 10 of them for some reason. By the end, I had $3 million. I played the game for literally like three to four minutes. And I already made like almost all, like $3 million. And it honestly took away from the experience. From the, I want this car. It's about $125,000. I only have $5,000. I got to grind, do races, things like that. Because... I mean, Horizon 4 suffered from this too. You literally just get money left, right, and center. Everything you do, you get money. So it's super easy to buy really fancy cars, really good cars. And honestly, even some of the community people are not very happy with it. I know a lot of people who have gone back to Horizon 4 because they believe the drifting was better in the game. Or they believe just something else was just, there was something different, something better about Forza Horizon 4 that they did not have in 5. And it's really, really strange to me that they kind of got it right, but at the same time didn't. And 
many people have been saying, well, how can Turn 10 and Playground change it? How can they be better and do better with what they, you know, what, what basically the cards are dealt? And honestly, take the online aspect of it. You can keep it, but do like a Horizon 3 style thing. Don't be giving people friggin' wheel spins and things like that left, right, and center. Don't be doing that. Um, like, the fact that I could literally do two races and end up with a million dollars, or I can... Like, the game is not fun because I can go into the shop and buy any car I want. Like, any car. So it's like... Like, what's the point in all these little small dinky cars if you're just right away going to buy the fancy expensive one? And a lot of racing games nowadays are doing that, which kind of sucks. Because it's like, they're basically going, here's everything, have fun. They aren't saying, hey, you got to level up a little more first. Like, honestly, I think something you could easily do that can make it a little, like, actually kind of fun is, like, for the next game. Um, I mean, they, they kind of got it right with the Hobbies expansion. It was like, you only have a B license, so you can only use B-class cars. Do that, right? So do it so it's like, hey, you're only level, like, 45, so you can only have C or B. You can have up to B-class cars. When you get to, like, level 60, then you can have the A-class. When you get to level 100, that's when you can get the X-class of just 999 supercars. Do it like that. I mean, I'm sure a lot, a lot of people are going to hate it. And not like it because, you know, it would require progression and story and doing all that stuff. But I think it will add just that little bit of charm that so many of us have been missing from the Forza Horizon games. There's a main reason why a lot of us are going back to the original ones. There's a lot of reasons why so many people have had different opinions on the first one, thinking it's way better than it actually is. Despite the fact that it's lacking the most in content, many people believe it is one of the better Forza games. There's a lot of reasons why so many people have been going back to play 2 to think that it's the top tier best one, because it is. 3 is a still pretty good one, because it still had those that love and charm that we all had for two and for one and two. Now there is some things that horizon three did do like a car pass, which I did buy. So I did have a lot of big cars at the start, but at the same time, it didn't matter because I still had these championship things like, or even do that. Like the championship things, <clears throat> you know, where it was like, Hey, the, the championships you're doing are, um, you know, they're only, uh, like, classic muscle cars so you can only do classic muscle cars for this race and i just honestly like it just the one thing that i loved about forza horizon is yeah i mean yeah like i love it nowadays with this open world and it's arcade sim racing style like it's still really fun for that but i think one of the things i loved about the original earlier games was it was like hey this race here it's for all-wheel drive japanese cars only so you can only use an all-wheel drive japanese car here like, and it's, to me, that just makes it so much more sense in a weird way because it's literally like, hey, we have like over so many cars. We want you to try some of them. So we are going to put restrictions on these races. So you actually try different cars. Because I'll admit, like the Forza Horizon games, what kind of got me into cars and made me want to be a car guy because of all the different styles of cars. I was literally going to grab the game off my shelf here. It's like, like the one I'm talking about today, Horizon 4. It literally says, explore Britain in 450 cars. There's way more than 450 in the game, by the way. Like after the bad, the car passes, all the DLCs and stuff like that. Way more than 450 in the game now. But just, like, it's just, oh. <sighs> Like, the more and more I play this game, the more and more I realize that Horizon 4 did so much more than 5 does. And, I mean, I'm not going to give 5 crap. 5 is doing really good. It is doing it's doing fine. It's doing the way it is. And I'm, I do love 5. Do not give me... I don't want you to go leaving this video thinking I hate Forza Horizon 5. I don't. I love Forza Horizon 5. It is still there as one of... It is still a favorite game of mine. It is still, like I said, cracked my top 100 favorite games of all time. But it would not be a top... But if I were to do another, like, an updated list of my favorite Forza Horizon games, 5 would definitely be at the bottom. 4 probably would be down there too at some point, but I don't think it would be as far down. Because honestly, let's be real here... It's a great game. I mean it. I mean, great game. Forza Horizon 5, 4, whatever you want. It. It is a, they're awesome games. They're super fun. But there is still some things that they could change to bring the community back. 
But anyways, with that rant out of the way of this game, thank you everybody for coming and hanging out and listening. Just listening to me talk to myself essentially about Forza Horizon and why I think 5 is kind of lacking but could also probably bring itself back. And the Rally expansion is out. I haven't tried it yet. Um, maybe I'll try it uh, soon, but I don't know when. But yeah, just... Horizon, man. Like, Forza Horizon is my favorite racing series of all time. I literally cannot play any other racing series because all you just think about Horizon and how good it was. And they're doing stuff like this. It kind of sucks. But, anyways, that's going to do it for me today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You're all amazing. You're all awesome. I love and care for every single one of you guys. Let me know down below what you think. Do you think Forza Horizon 4 is better than 5? Do you think it isn't? What do you guys think? I want to hear your opinions. Let me know down below. And I will talk to all you sooner or later. Peace out, everyone. Take care.